you know, police officers here in Charles County and throughout the state of Maryland have great training compared to, to, to the national, whatever it is. Doesn't mean that they are perfect, and they certainly are not robots. And when you talk about surviving a, a, an encounter with the police, you gotta remember something. That police officer is trying to survive too. He doesn't know you. He doesn't know your son. He doesn't know, he doesn't know you. He doesn't know what he's going to encounter when he comes up to that car, when he goes into that domestic violence situation, when he gets called to the mall, whatever it is. Okay, so while their training is supposed to keep them through that, they're going to respond better than the average person is going to respond. Doesn't mean they're going to respond perfectly. And they certainly aren't going to respond perfectly if uh, the person they're dealing with is acting uh, out. We'll just put it that way. Okay? So um, when you talk about survival, when you talk about that, it, it, it is very important that folks understand that you're dealing with human beings as police officers. It's not just a uniform like Cliff was saying. There are human beings there. They have any anxieties. You don't know if they, when they pull you over, they come up to my, to my car, my Crown Vic, which is my personal car, not a state car. Okay. <laughs> and I don't know if when they stop me, they haven't had a, uh, a bulletin go out for somebody, uh, you know, a light-skinned, fat, black guy <laughs> who just robbed the PNC. <laughs> okay, I don't know that. Okay, I don't know that. All right, he, and he may come up there and be a little bit more stern than perhaps he otherwise would because he may think that I may be one person. So it's very important, again, like, like uh, Ms. Smith said, to put yourself in that officer's shoes. And if we're able to do that and going both ways, we're able to do that, everything will work a lot better.